Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to our channel. Um, for today's vlog, we are heading across to uh, Negros, to the city of Bacolod. So, uh, uh, Tina is going to get her interview for her passport tomorrow. So we're going to stay in Bacolod for the next couple of days. And here in Guimaras, we're at a new, relatively new uh, crossing, um, Sebaste Wharf. So we'll be getting the boat from uh, Sebaste Wharf. Um, from here across to uh, Bacolod. So it's uh, this crossing has only been open for the last uh, few months, I believe. And uh, we follow them on Facebook page and keep. Uh, good morning. Good morning. We're not, we're not to record inside the oh, sorry, sorry. So the next boat's at 10:30. So we kind of uh, well, we we arrived early, but unfortunately the the first boat was already fully booked, already full. So we've been hanging around here, we've relaxed at a coffee shop, a wee cafe, at a small cafe. So we relaxed at a small cafe, Just I had a coffee, you had some noodles. Um, so, But as I was saying earlier before I had to stop recording, um, this has been open for a few, the, this crossing has been open for a few months now. Um, but there are times when they have to cancel the crossings because of uh, bad weather, because of wind. But I've been here a couple of times just uh, with different people and when it's been very windy, but this is before the crossing started and uh, it, uh, the sea was always quite, uh, quite rough because of the wind but it's pretty calm which is uh, really good so I'll show you the sea now <laughs> Sleepy? No? Look at her right I'm feeling a bit sleepy, but had a coffee, so I'm starting to wake up a wee bit. But yeah. So yeah, we're wait hanging around until the the 10:30 boat, and then we'll get sailing across to the back of Lord. And have we paid yet? Have we paid the fare yet? No. Do you know how much it costs? 220. Yes. Uh, 220 pesos per person. Per person? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so the fare is 220 pesos per person to sail from uh, Sebaste Wharf to uh, Bacolod. So, yeah. But, uh, so I'll, I'll see you guys later once we're getting on the boat. Yeah. So the boat will be, the boat will be uh, down that way, guys. So down there. Um, and there's one of the boats from earlier, it's sort of on its way. And you can see some of the islands in the distance as well. Okay guys, so the boat yeah. has now arrived. Oh, well, we're ready to teleport. <laughs> we're ready to teleport, or we're ready to, to board the boat. And I'm feeling more awake now compared to earlier. And yeah, because you know, waiting makes you sleepy, you get bored. Yeah. We don't have money anymore. And we don't have. We all just walk around the Mandalay Bay. Yeah. Um, oh, we need to be careful with all the motorbikes driving past us. So. Oh, should we? Yeah. So, see all the motorbikes. Uh, so this boat here, you, you can actually take motorbikes on board. Um, about just 12 motorbikes, okay. So my brother-in-law, he was meant to come with us. He, he's also uh, going for a passport in, in tomorrow, uh, but he was bringing the motorbike, but unfortunately there was no room left for him in this slot. So he'll be, a third trip, yeah, he'll be coming across at 2.30 later on. So yeah, um, yeah, look at the sea. Oh, there's people Guys, swimming. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's people swimming in the sea. But yeah, so yeah, the ticket actually uh, costs 220 pesos per person. So 440 altogether, wasn't it? Yeah. So you can see the boat up ahead. Absolutely. 
yeah, I mean, the first time we went to uh, uh, Negros, the first time we went to Negros, we had to go across to Iloilo and then go out to the port outside of Iloilo or the wharf outside of Iloilo. And it was a long journey across and a long journey back again. So, so this is more convenient. Um, yeah, more convenient and more accessible for us as well. It's only 10 minutes from uh, Sabario, which is great. So, not a hassle at all. And I would think the uh, the boat journey is about one to two hours. So we'll sit back, relax, and if we feel tired, we'll get some sleep on the boat, hopefully. So you can see up ahead, guys, the, the yellow boat. So guys, there's a bit of a queue to get on board, but uh, yeah, it's not, uh, not too bad. Just show them our ticket and then we will board. There you go Okay guys, so we've just arrived in Bulipanda, Bulipanda port. Um, so the journey time was about one hour and 10 minutes, so it felt quite quick actually. And uh, we are, uh, yeah, the journey time was quite quick. Uh, and you, you managed to get some sleep, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I didn't sleep though. It's so nice to sleep, it's like you are just sleeping in a hammock. <laughs> in a hammock? Ah, because the boat was rocking back and forth, so. <laughs> I went on YouTube and I found that the signal at the sea is actually better than when you're on land. So I was thinking to myself, so we buy a boat and we'll live in the sea? <laughs> we get better signal in the sea. So guys, we are just on a trip going to a Japanese terminal, or a Pacific terminal.
highway and and serious bus going to Bacolod and then another jeepney going to our place.